Dogs are the world's favorite pets, but there are some truly fascinating things about them that many people don't know. For instance, their smile might not mean what you think. They have a unique organ that enhances their sense of smell and an extra bone in the most unexpected place. We'll uncover these mysteries, but first, here's an unbelievable fact. Dogs can perform basic math. Yes, you heard that right. Dogs can actually perform basic math. Now, let me explain. Well, in a study, researchers showed dogs a treat and then hid it behind a small screen. They repeated this with a second treat, so the dog should expect to see two treats. When the screen was lifted to reveal the two treats, the dog looked at them for a normal amount of time. However, if the researchers secretly added or removed a treat, making the number of treats different from expected, the dog stared at the treats for a longer period, trying to understand the change. Now, are you wondering why dogs might need math skills? Well, the study suggested that this ability could help mother dogs count their puppies to ensure all are present and accounted for. Now, did you know that a dog's nose print is unique to each individual, much like a human fingerprint? No two dogs share the same pattern of ridges and grooves on their noses. This isn't just a quirky tidbit. There's actually an app in development that will allow you to scan your dog's nose print, so if they ever go missing, they can be identified and reunited with you through their nose print. Now, although both humans and dogs have unique prints, there's a peculiar difference between us. On a hot day, you won't see dogs sweating all over like we do. Instead, they cool down by panting. When dogs pant, water evaporates from their noses, mouths, and lungs, helping them cool off similarly to how our sweat evaporates from our skin. Dogs do have sweat glands, but they are located on the bottoms of their paws, and they don't sweat nearly as much as we do. These paw sweat glands play a role in another interesting fact we'll touch on later. But back to their incredible noses. Have you ever noticed how a dog's nose is always wet? It's not because they have a perpetual runny nose. It's actually to help them smell better. A wet nose can capture scent particles, and when dogs lick their noses, these particles are transferred to a special organ located above the roof of their mouth. This organ, called Jacobson's organ, or the vomeronosal organ, enhances their sense of smell. If you take a peek at the roof of your dog's mouth, you might spot a small, light-colored bump behind their top front teeth, which is the entrance to this remarkable organ. We all know dogs have some extraordinary senses, often surpassing our own. But did you know puppies don't start out with these super senses? When they're born, puppies are actually deaf and blind. Their eyes don't open until around two weeks, and their hearing kicks in at about three weeks. During this early phase, these tiny furballs rely almost entirely on their sense of smell. They grow and develop their senses quickly, which leads us to another fascinating aspect of their intelligence. Dogs are as smart as a two-year-old child. Scientists figured this out by studying how many words dogs can learn. On average, a dog can understand around 165 words just like a toddler, and that's just scratching the surface. The most intelligent dog on record, a border collie named Chaser, knew over 1,000 words. Dogs also share some emotional traits with young kids. A study from Hungary found that dogs can feel jealousy. When their owners gave more attention to another dog, the jealous pup would try to get their owner's focus back. This shows just how much our furry friends care about us and want to be close. Speaking of closeness, did you know that 45% of dogs snuggle up in bed with their owners at night? According to the American Kennel Club, this bedtime bonding can actually strengthen your relationship with your dog. And now for the strangest fact of all. Male dogs have a bone in their penis called a baculum. This bone aids in reproduction by providing stiffness, but it's not as dense as other bones like leg bones. This less dense structure likely helps prevent fractures during those more energetic moments. You won't believe some more quirky facts about our canine friends that I'm gonna share with you. Here's a mind-boggling one to start with. Dogs prefer to poop aligned with the Earth's magnetic field. That's right. A study in Europe observed 70 dogs over two years, documenting 1,893 poops, and discovered that when the Earth's magnetic field was stable, dogs tended to align their bodies north to south while doing their business. This discovery marks the first proof of magnetic sensitivity in dogs. It sounds wild, but there's even more to uncover about our four-legged pals. Speaking of paws, did you know dogs can be right-pawed or left-pawed, similar to how humans are right or left-handed? To figure this out, you can put your dog through some fun test researchers use. First, you can do the Kong test. Let's say when given a Kong toy filled with treats, your dog uses his left paw to hold it steady. Contrary to what you might think, 
This suggests his dominant paw is actually the right one, as dogs use their non-dominant paw to stabilize objects. Next, you can try the tape test where a piece of tape is placed on the dog's nose and you observe which paw they use to remove it. If your dog uses his right paw, then you can be sure that he's a righty. For the final test, the first stepping test, you can look at which paw your dog steps with first. If he is a bit inconsistent, sometimes using his right and other times his left, then this means he's ambidextrous or you just need more trials to be sure. Now, let's move on to an undeniable fact. Dogs have three eyelids. While not always visible, if you catch your dog snoozing with their eyes partly open, you might see this third eyelid peeking out from the inner corner of their eye. This special eyelid protects their eye and helps spread the tear film, sliding across the eye rather than up and down. Here's another fascinating tidbit. A female dog can have puppies from more than one father in the same litter. If she mates with multiple males during her fertile period, the result can be a mix of puppies with different dads. Dogs never cease to amaze with their quirky habits and unique traits. There's always something new and surprising to learn about them. Now, here's a bit of more doggy drama for you. For a long time, it was believed that dogs have been with humans for about 14,000 years. However, in 2008, scientists uncovered dog remains dating back 31,700 years. This discovery means that dogs have been our companions for twice as long as we originally thought, which is pretty amazing for our ancestors. These ancient dogs resembled large Siberian huskies and dined on horses, oxen, and reindeer. While they might sound like wolves, they had distinct differences. The Paleolithic dog had a wider, shorter snout, a broader brain case, and a smaller skull compared to a wolf. Now let's talk about some impressive dog stats. Zorba, an English Mastiff, holds the record for being the world's longest and heaviest dog. Weighing in at 343 pounds, Zorba was longer than most NFL linemen at a whopping 8 feet 3 inches from nose to tail. Imagine two full-grown German Shepherds end to end. That's Zorba. However, the title of the tallest dog goes to Zeus, a Great Dane. Standing at 3 feet 5 inches at the shoulder, Zeus is often compared to a small horse. When he stands on his hind legs, he's taller than Shaquille O'Neal. On the flip side, we have Pearl, a Chihuahua, who holds the record for the shortest living dog. Pearl measures just 3.59 inches in height and 5 inches in length, roughly the size of $2 bills stacked together. And she weighs only 1.2 pounds, tiny but mighty. From ancient times to modern marvels, dogs continue to surprise and amaze us with their unique traits and records. Here's another quirky fact that might puzzle you at first. A dog's ears can actually enhance their sense of smell, especially for breeds like bloodhounds. Those floppy, low-hanging ears serve a purpose beyond just looking cute. They help sweep scent particles towards the dog's nose, ensuring they don't miss a thing when they're hot on a trail. Even the folds increases in their face play a role by trapping scent particles, further aiding their olfactory abilities. Now, let's talk about something adorable. Dog paws. We all know their paw pads are cute, but have you ever looked at them upside down? You might be surprised to find that they resemble koala bears. But here's the kicker. While you're admiring their cuteness, you might catch a whiff of an unexpected scent. Fritos. That's right, dog paws sometimes smell like everyone's favorite corn chips. But fear not, it's just a harmless byproduct of bacteria, typically proteus or pseudomonas, that naturally occur in the environment. When moisture mixes with these bacteria, whether from licking their paws or sweating through their pads, it creates that distinctive Fritos aroma, along with hints of popcorn or tortillas. It's a quirky phenomenon that adds to the charm of our furry friends. Dogs' smiles can light up our world, but here's the catch. Humans often misinterpret their expressions. What might seem like a grin could actually be something entirely different. Take, for example, a dog with its mouth open and corners curling up. It's easy to mistake it for a smile, but when you consider the rest of their body language, like lunging forward or barking, it's clear they're not expressing joy. Then there are those instances where a dog shows its teeth, resembling a human smile. However, they're more likely signaling a warning, whether it's fear or protecting their space. But aggression isn't the only context where smiles can be misconstrued. Sometimes when dogs pant, it appears like they're smiling, yet it could indicate anxiety instead. The problem arises when we misinterpret their signals, unknowingly exacerbating their discomfort. While dogs certainly do smile when they're happy, it's crucial to assess their overall demeanor, considering their ears, tongue, eyes, and posture. Rather than focusing solely on their mouth, 
Understanding their language helps foster better communication and strengthens our bond with these lovable creatures. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.